Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the redistribute characters to make all strings equal problem from lead code. This is a lead code easy and the number for this is 1897. So in the given problem we have an array of strings and in one operation we can pick two indices i and j where words of i is a non-empty string and we can move any character from words of i to any position in j. And we have to return true if we can make every string in the word equal using any number of operations so for this uh, this is a pretty simple problem and uh, we are going to perform few checks on the array and based on those checks what we perform we can definitely say that is this uh, transition from uh, like making every string in uh, the words equal uh, is possible or not so let's see how we have to do so if you suppose you take the example one if you move one a to the third string from the second string then all the three string will be abc 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 yes all the three will be of the length three and the total will be of length three so yeah so how we are going to do this first of all count the total number of characters in this array of the string words first of all count the total and then count by each word then you will uh, count for each word and divide it and if it comes to be divisible that means there is a possibility we can create we can create a possible solution and uh, then we'll uh, create a map hash map or a hash table of 26 size and we'll count the number of uh, occurrences of each character so let's say we have counted for a a is 3 then we'll count for b b is also 3 and we'll count for c c is also 3 and then we'll check if uh, all the uh, all the occurrences are divisible by the number of strings or not if if this is correct then we can return true otherwise if at any position in the checks we return we get a false we simply return false so let's see first of all we'll check if the length of array is 1 we'll simply return true otherwise we see the input is abc like for this example input equal to abc the output is simply true because the length of the array is 1 now for these examples these examples we'll count the total character count so 3 plus 4 plus 2 is 9 now we'll check is 9 divisible by the number of strings in the array so 1 2 3 so 9 is divisible by 3 so yes then we'll initialize um, our hash map count the frequencies so a occurs 3 times b occurs 3 times c occurs 3 times and so on there will be a map for different examples and uh, we will check for each occurrences if it is divisible by the number of strings or not if yes we can return true otherwise we can return false so let's come to the code section but before that do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel so our first step was if there is only one string we can simply return true no need to check any other thing otherwise we'll do a total care count equal to zero currently and uh, we'll iterate over all the strings This will count the total number of characters of the all the words. Now, if this total can count mod words dot length 
is not equal to 0. That means we cannot split the characters equally in all the all the words then we'll return false so we cannot split otherwise we will perform more checks so for more checks we'll need an hash map let's say my map equal to new int 26 So we are counting the number of occurrences of each character in each word and after this loop we will be having the number of occurrences for each character so we will iterate in that my map and we will check if i mod word dot length because we want to divide equally in all the sections in all the words so this should be equal to 0. If it is not equal to 0, return false. Otherwise, at the end we can return true. So let's see if it runs. So accept it. Let's run it for the hidden test cases as well. So yeah, it passes with a good time complexity and a good memory complexity as well. So the time complexity for this solution is <clears throat> n cross m where n is the number of strings and m is the average length of the string in the words array. And the space complexity is O of 1 because we are not using any extra space in this. You can also check my uh, C++ Python and JavaScript solution by going into the solutions panel. And then you can check this solution. It has the intuition, approach, the complexity, and Java code, C++, Python, JavaScript. And yes, do remember me to upvote and like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel. I hope you understood the logic. This was a pretty simple question. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day.